Hey Luke here with CasinCarb.com and I'm going to be reviewing bite alarms. Now I've got 10 bite alarms here to review. They range from $1 to $200 in price and I'm going to show you exactly a, what they do, the pros, the cons, and uh, tell you which ones I like the most and which ones I like the least. So first off, let's talk about the NGT VX1. You can go to BigCarpTackle.com and buy this bite alarm for $11.95. It comes with a free case and you can see here it has uh, a variable volume control and that's also the on off switch so you turn on the volume you turn up the volume you get a little click and you can adjust the volume levels there's no other buttons there's no other inputs or outputs uh, there's simply two lights the uh, volume control which is also the on and off switch and that's it so this is a very bare bones bite alarm the ngt vx1 is definitely a low and alarm but it works reasonably well um, the sensitivities half what other carp fishing by alarms are it only has one magnet in its wheel so the way these by alarms work is there's a little wheel with magnets in it and as the wheel spins as the line is taken out those magnets pass over a sensor and make the little beeping noise uh, how many magnets there are in the wheel determines the sensitivity. So this only has one magnet in the wheel, so it's you know not as sensitive as the microns or the siren or the neuron or the ATTS. But it's actually not bad. Um, when you actually go out and test it, it it's pretty sensitive still. Um, and it's nice and loud, and it does the job. The big downside to it, I think, is the fact that it takes these squirrely little LRV08 batteries, so kind of these non-standard batteries. So the Fox Micron M Plus is $45.95 at BigCarpTackle.com. It also comes with like a free protective uh, faceplate. It, uh, which will protect the toggle on and off switch from breaking off if you drop it, which is sometimes is a problem with those switches. Um, it comes with very detailed instructions uh, in every language under the sun. The on and off switch is a toggle switch, so it's really easy to turn on, it's really easy to turn off. Um, you can do it with gloves on, you can do it with your hands being frozen solid, so that's really nice. The other thing too is with the protective faceplate and the toggle switch, you don't accidentally turn on the alarm when it's rolling around in your tackle bag. Now the Fox Micron M Plus has a power out and a transmitter out slot in the back and it's protected with these little rubber inserts to keep water out of there. The power out is for hangers. If you want illuminated hangers, you can plug them in back there and uh, they'll illuminate so you know if you like glow in the dark hangers this one has the ability to use those and the transmitter out is so that you can make this wireless so if instead of it beeping you want it to send a signal to a wireless receiver that you have in your pocket you can do that the only problem is it's really expensive um, you need two pieces of hardware you need the txr micro which is the device you plug in it's basically the transmitter, okay? And then you need the Micron NTX receiver. Um, and that's the, the device you carry on your person that receives the signal and tells you that you're getting a bite. Uh, it, uh, you can buy a set of three transmitters uh, and one receiver for about $233. So not exactly cheap. It costs more than the bite alarms itself. The Fox Micron M Plus takes two AA batteries, which is a real relief because a lot of these alarms take non-standard batteries. So it's a big deal to be able to have AAAs or 9 volts, just really standard size batteries that you can find around the house. Because if you're ready to go fishing and your bite alarms are dead, you don't want to have to run to a specialty store or you know order a, a special battery online because it takes some weird squirrely battery you've never seen before. This takes a, a Phillips screwdriver to change the batteries. Now, this is a real obnoxious thing. I, I really hate that they do this. And they do it so that it's more secure and more waterproof. I get that. But just one more tool you need to lug around with you in order to do your fishing. And that's, that's a little obnoxious. Now, one design feature that I really like about this is that the 
ears on the vital arm are really well set so the rod, the rod doesn't pop loose when there's a sideways take. Uh, the Microns, more than any of the other vital arms, held the best uh, when I tested them with sideways takes. Now the sensitivity on the Micron M Plus is the same as with all the other devices in its class. It's got two magnets in the wheel and I couldn't tell any difference between the sensitivity of the Micron M Plus or the Micron MX Plus or the Siren or you know, the Chubb Neuron or the uh, Gardner ATTs. It's, they all seem to be about the same degree of sensitivity. The Fox Micron MX Plus runs for $79.99 at BigCarbTackle.com. It also comes with the Micron uh, faceplate cover and it comes with detailed instructions with every language under the sun and it has the on off switch with two stage sensitivity so you can uh, turn down the sensitive sensitivity or go go with full sensitivity uh, this is nice when your uh, the wind kicks up and it's starting to make your alarms go off all the time you want to be able to turn down that sensitivity so that you're not listening to beeps constantly um, once again, I really like these toggle switch on off toggle switches it's so much easier to turn on and off it's easy to do with gloves, it's easy to do when your hands are cold, but the cover, the faceplate cover, keeps it from accidentally turning on and off in your bag, which is a big problem with a lot of alarms because when that happens, it drains your battery. Um, this, the Fox Micron MX Plus has volume control and it also has tone control. Now the tone control is nice, so you can change the sound, the tone, on each of your alarms. So if you have three or four Fox Micron MX Pluses, you can each set them to a different tone. And then when you hear a beep sound, you can know which rod it was without even seeing it. This is great for night fishing and uh, you know, or when your all your rods are close together. So if you hear the beep, you can turn around and you can say, ah, that's the one who, you, you know instantly which rod it was. Um, once again, the ears on this are really well set. Just like the Fox Micron M Plus, this thing held the rod really well and prevented the rod from popping loose with sideways takes. So you could get really aggressive with it um, on a sideways take and it wouldn't pop out of the, uh, the bite alarm. Now this bite alarm, the Micron MX Plus, has the capability of uh, using a transmitter. You can, and it has a little output for a transmitter and it has an output for illuminated uh, hangers or bobbins. But the sensitivity on the Fox Micron MX Plus is, is good. It's got two magnets per wheel. Um, it's the same as all the other bite alarms in its class. It's good tone. It's just a good, solid, well-built uh, device. It comes uh, uses two AA batteries, but, one, but once again, you need a Phillips screwdriver to change the batteries, which is a little obnoxious. The Delcom TXI Pluses are an awesome alarm. I've owned these alarms for probably three years now. Um, the TXIs have built-in wireless capability and they're $168.95 at BigCarpTackle.com. You can buy the wireless receiver from BigCarpTackle.com at $189.95, so slightly more than the cost of one by alarm. Or if you're not interested in wireless capabilities, you can get essentially the same alarm, only non-wireless, for $116.95. Um, these Delcoms have been around for decades. This technology has been around for a long time. The design's been around for a long time. They've worked out the bugs, and it's just a really solid, tough, well-built piece of electronics. And, and there are a lot of fans out there. Um, it's got adjustable tone, adjustable volume, and adjustable sensitivity. There's a toggle on and off switch on the bottom and you turn it on and you can turn it on with extra sensitivity or normal sensitivity okay and so on top of that you can then further adjust the sensitivity the delcom is fundamentally a different design than all the other bite alarms that i reviewed it's got this unique uh, piezo vibration sensing system and essentially what it is is instead of having a little wheel with magnets in it that spins as light and goes out. It has what looks like a forked stick attached to a sensor. And the line rests in the forked stick and vibrations 
in the line are transferred down the stick to the sensor. So the Delcoms don't sense line moving in or out like all the other alarms do. The Delcom senses vibrations in the line. So if the line moves, obviously there's vibrations, but even when the line doesn't move, just vibrations can set off the alarm. So it's in a league of its own. The Delcoms are a degree of sensitivity that the wheeled alarms just don't have. The other advantage too is the wheel alarms arms can jam. The, the Delcoms don't have any wheels. There's nothing to jam. There's not, it, it's not a moving part. The fact it doesn't have moving parts makes it a very durable uh, device and it's just extremely rugged and extremely sensitive. I've accidentally dropped mine in water and I just treat them terribly. I take them out in the snow and the rain and just I really just don't care and they work fa fantastically. Now the Delcoms don't come with a free case, but you can buy a case for $750 at BigCarbTackle.com. Unfortunately, they don't cover the toggle switch, so the alarm will turn on and off occasionally in your bag if you bump it. The Delcoms run on a standard 9-volt battery, and you can get at the battery without any tools, which is a big plus. So just keep some spare batteries in your tackle bag. If one of your batteries dies, you can replace it right there on the bank without any tools. The Chubb Neuron T5 is an alarm I've owned for about four years now. It's actually been discontinued, but it's such a good alarm, I, I wanted to review it anyways. Um, it was originally about $65, but now because it's been discontinued, I went online at the time I made this, I found it for sale uh, for $10. Um, so there's some really great um, obscure brands out there who make buy alarms that have been discontinued and you can get 60 70 80 dollar alarms for dirt cheap now um, so if you're price sensitive keep your eye out for sales like this um, these are really really great alarms and i don't know why they didn't succeed financially but they're great they're absolutely fabulous and the fact that they've been discontinued isn't really important to us here in the u.s because frankly most of these british alarms um, you can't get them serviced and you can't get any sort of warranty help on them here in the States anyways. So it doesn't really matter whether it's been discontinued or not. The Chubb Neuron works on a standard 9-volt battery. You can get at the battery with just your uh, car keys or a pocket knife. Um, it's, it's really easy. So you don't need any special tools. You don't need to carry screwdrivers with you. It's got sensitivity adjustment, tone adjustment, volume ad adjustment. It works with the standard sort of uh, rolling wheel uh, with two magnets in it, so it's just as sensitive as any of the other bite alarms in kind of the $60, $70 class range. Um, it doesn't come with a case, but you can get one for $10, and now the cases are on sale for like two bucks because it's a discontinued model. This is a fabulous bite alarm. The only qualms I have with it is the on and off switch is just a button that you hold down on the side, and that thing accidentally gets turned on all the time, even when it's in the case. And then the battery dies and, you know, stuff like that happens all the time. So it's something you got to deal with. The other gripe I have with it is the wheel gets jammed up. You know, it's old, it's dirty, it gets in the muck and the mud and the rain and all that stuff. And if that grit gets down inside the housing around the wheel, the wheel will jam up and then you have to take like a, a credit card or your line or something and run it across the wheel and kind of work the grit loose until the wheel well, spins properly again. Um, that doesn't happen tons, but it does happen and when it happens, it can muck up your fishing. So you kind of got to watch it and test the alarm each time you, you pull it out and use it for the first time in a while. The Nash Siren S5 costs about $47.95 at BigCarbTackle.com. Just like the NGT VX1, the on and off switch is also the volume. So you turn up the volume and you hear a little click and then you adjust the volume like the old school radios. Um, it comes with a case free, which is nice. Um, and it runs off an A23 12 volt battery, which is a non-standard battery. It's also called a 23AE 12 volt battery. There's a couple other different names for this type of battery. My poor wife ended up running around town looking for some place that sells an A23 12 volt. And that could happen to you. You're getting ready to go fishing and you'd go to turn on your bite alarms and they're dead. 
so you end up running around town looking for a spare battery instead of fishing. You can change the battery without any tools, which is a plus, but it's got this little rectangular um, washer that's supposed to help keep water out of the battery compartment, and it's not attached to the case, and it's a real pain to try to get it back in and get it seated right. So, oh, it's a, that's a little bit of a poor design there. Also, uh, the volume control is really hard to operate, and it's really tough for me to, to grip that tiny little volume control and turn it on and off. My fingers would cold. No way I could do it. I'd need to use a pair of pliers. So it's, it's kind of an obnoxious on and off switch and kind of an obnoxious volume control. It's hard to use. The Nash Siren S5 is just as sensitive as any of the other bite alarms in the same range. Um, it's got two magnets per the wheel. It's just as sensitive as the Chubb Neuron, the uh, Gardner ATTs uh, um, with the two magnet wheel, the Microns, you know, they're all kind of the same. One plus thing, one plus that this, the Nash Siren has over like the Microns and the, and the Chubbs is that it is wireless uh, capable already, straight out of the box. So you don't need to buy any additional hardware to make this wireless compatible. Um, you just buy a $77 wireless receiver and you're good to go. This is the Gardner Tackle ATTS silent alarm. Uh, it runs $115.95 at bigcarptackle.com. The uh, wireless receiver that goes with it is $129.95 at bigcarptackle.com. It comes with a free hard case, a really nice hard case. And um, when you put on the case, it disables the battery. So that you notice there's no on and off switch. You take the case off, the batteries turn on. You put the case on, batteries turn off. There's no switches or knobs or any controls. There's not a speaker either. And the reason why they did this is it's completely and utterly waterproof. The ATT silent alarm require a screwdriver to change the, the batteries, you, and it needs to be a jeweler screwdriver or the, the type of screwdriver you use for your eyeglasses. A standard screwdriver won't work. So it's a, a little bit of a buzz kill because you need to have this little tool with you on the bank because if the battery dies, you can't change it without a screwdriver. Additionally, the battery is non-standard as well. The type of battery that's used in this is called a GP476A. The sensitivity is also adjusted in a little bit of a squirrely way. You have to adjust the wheel. So for $14.35 on bigcarptackle.com, you can buy replacement wheels and you can buy them with either two, four, or six magnets. And obviously the more magnets it has, the more sensitive the wheel. But if you want to change sensitivity, you have to stick the jeweler's Phillips head screwdriver in the side of the, the alarm. You turn it a couple times and you pull out this pin and then the wheel comes free. And then you switch out the wheels. You, you're going to get tired of it and just put in one wheel and let it sit. Additionally, it's a lot of little bits and pieces and, and tools to carry with you uh, Gardner Tackle touts this bite alarm as indestructible and waterproof, and I believe it. I mean, you feel this thing, and it is really solid in your hand. It's very compact, and there's nothing to break on it. So if you want a very small, light, waterproof, indestructible bite alarm, this thing's it. But um, without the wireless receiver, you're not going to get any sound, and uh, so... That's just a little extra cost that you're, you're going to have. Uh, additionally, the, the ears on the bite alarm are quite tall. So the, this bite alarm is second only to the microns and its ability to keep your rod in place. Uh, this is the Ebro clip on bite alarm. Uh, you can get a bag of five of them for uh, $13.99 on Amazon.com. But you can also buy these. You can find them every once in a while on Amazon.com for as much as a dollar a piece. Um, plus shipping and handling. Uh, lots of different people sell this exact same design. It's some freebie design that Chinese factories, you know, pump out and sell to people who turn around and sell them as a middleman. And, and so you can see them all over the internet if you're looking for super cheap um, bite alarms. It's just got an on and off switch. It's got what looks like a, you know, a 
paper binder clip glued onto the side of it or screwed onto the side of it. And there's this little wire that when it gets pulled off, this really obnoxious alarm goes off. But the clip works really well and it's got a little padding on it so it doesn't scratch up your uh, your rod. And you run the line through the little wire clip and when the line tightens up, it pulls out the, the wire and makes that really obnoxious noise. Now, it is a very, very cheap bite alarm. But a couple problems is it doesn't work on the principle of line going in or out. It works on the line being tightened or not. So whenever the line goes tight, the alarm goes off. When the line goes loose, the alarm turns off. If you get uh, some wind or something hitting it, the alarm will just go off and stay going off indefinitely. Or if you're boat fishing and your boat drifts a little bit and the line tights up, it's just gonna go off, but it's not very sensitive. The free to clip on bite alarm, I also got it on amazon.com. Uh, it was twelve thirty nine for a for a two set. You clip it on to the rod and you place the line between these two pins and as the line tensions up, it twists the two uh, it twists the wheel and sets off the most obnoxious sound in the world. There's an on and off button. But the problem is, is it doesn't take hardly any tension to, to twist the wheel. So, for instance, just the weight of the lead was enough to twist the line on my catfishing gear. Uh, my carp fishing gear, I could, I could make it sit on there without the alarm going off just from the weight of the lead. But it, it just goes off all the time. So this only works if you're fishing slack lines. Um, if you if you want to fish tight lines, you can't you can't do it with this. You have to fish a, a slack line. Um, the other problem is that just hardly anything will set it off. So wind and a little bit of current, all that stuff would set it off, and the alarms just going would be going off constantly. So um, yeah, it's it's their limited usefulness for this alarm. Additionally, the clip is huge. It, it's really thick, so it, it didn't fit any of my rods. Um, it just would kind of hang loosely around the on the rod, um, which is kind of annoying because then it would twist and rotate, and I had a hard time getting it to sit right because it wouldn't uh, clip to my rod properly. Uh, unless you're using like a really fat fiberglass, like beef stick type surf rod. This thing isn't going to clip onto it tightly. It's just going to kind of rattle around on the rod, and and for six bucks a piece, that's a lot of money to to spend on something that's really not that great. Um, the real free two-in-one bite indicator was another um, you know cheap plastic bite alarm I got off of Amazon. You know, one of the the three types I saw for sale on Amazon. It's 689 for one of these things, and it's supposed to simply go from green to red when a fish bites. Um, there's no instructions on this thing, and I sat there and fiddled with it and never could get it to work. I don't know if the batteries were dead. I don't know if I was doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much just a little piece of plastic with a with a watch battery inside, and I couldn't see any electronics in it at all. It was another piece of junk. It was a waste of money. And this was the last thing it saw before it went into the trash can, so. Well, at any rate, I hope this review was helpful. I, I hope you learned a few new things and uh, helped you uh, select a new bite alarm. If you like this video, check out some of our other product review videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel for new videos every week. Thanks for watching.